Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. I'm looking at it. It's a warm day in February here. Look at look at these bees attack this pollen sub. They're really hitting it. They're packing it away. But that's what this not what this video is about. This video is about uh, polystyrene hives. I had a viewer uh, wanted to know about them. I'm trying to get the lens turned around so I can see what I'm videoing and what I ain't. Yeah. But uh, these come from Blue Sky uh, Bee Supply up in northern, northwestern Ohio. You about got to go get them when you, you order them because their their shipping is outrageous. It's just absolutely outrageous. But the name of these boxes are Bee World boxes. They're made in Finland. This is the lid. They're pretty good. Uh, you put this side in, it seals. They don't offer a vent for this side. These are 3D vents that I print and put in there. Why they don't offer a vent? I think you could cut a piece of uh, eighth inch hardware cloth and slide in there and vent these lids too, I think. I think you could. But now I'll try it. That, that's the downfall on the lids. They don't have the vents. Sugar shims fit fine on 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 the on, on it. You just cut your sugar shim to fit it. it, it that's all right. And all the boxes. I'm to see. I'm gonna try to get it up here where we can see. The boxes have these plastic inserts right here that uh, you pry against. They've got them on all the deep boxes. But now I want to show you what they do. They don't put them on the honey supers. Why in the world they don't put them on the bottom of the honey super? See, there's no plastic, no plastic insert to pry against on the honey supers. But that all said, uh, and the biggest downfall I got is the bottom boards. They're screen bottom boards, which that's all right. You can block them off if you want, which I do uh, like that. I don't like the screen bottom boards, but look at the distance here between the bottom and the top where the frames would be. It's about an inch and a quarter space there. It, the bees has got to come in and crawl up the walls to get on the frames. That should be a three eighths, three eighths height off of this bottom board. I don't like that. But that's kind of the, the, the dislikes on it. Now since I started using them, my winter losses are a lot less, a lot less. I mean, it makes a big difference in winter losses in my part of the country. Now it might not make it be that way for everybody, but in my part of the country, it makes a world of difference for whatever reason. Um, I just got through going through all these yesterday, every one of them, uh, here in this yard. In this particular yard, I think there's 130, 35 hives, and I had 16 dead outs, which that's a little less than 12%, so that's pretty good. You know, if, you, if I lose double that before the winter's out at 24%, that's still an average uh, loss for a beekeeper. But anyway, that's kind of the, the, the gist on, on that. They're, they're pretty good. I like it. You can, the entrances, got entrances on both sides. You can, these are double six frames. You could, uh, you can turn the entrance around, shut them off either way. And you can put a divider board in it, which they sell to make these uh, into a double three frame box. And I don't, I run them double six, or six frames, I run, what I run here. And anyway, that's kind of the gist on what I would change on these boxes. I'd, I'd make a, a dedicated vent. I'd change the height on, the, on the, that, and I'd make it where you could put them plastic inserts. See, there's plastic inserts all the way down here. You're prying against the plastic. You're not prying against the star foam. Now, if you're in a, if you was buying these, and you're one of them people that put their hives out there and never look at them. It's not the box for you because they'll glue these things up and you'll you'll tear them up trying to get them apart. But if you're in your boxes once a month, once every six weeks, not a problem. They, you can get into 
you can get into them and, and be just fine. Well, this here box here we just opened. It hadn't I hadn't been in that since uh, I put them to bed back in November. And, you know they're coming they coming apart fine. Of course it's a dead out. But anyway, if you enjoy the videos, click the su subscribe button and the like. Get notifications when I get, when I get more videos out, and uh, we'll try to. Uh, uh, what in the world? That thing's all messed up. I, I'm trying to re relearn all my camera work stuff. But anyway, that that's the way it is. But thanks for watching.